Oh my god, look at all this meat. Fuck. Wait. What are we doing? I'm sorry. Y'all miss me? I miss. I don't know who you are. Baby Hulk, 23. Yeah. Baby Hulk, Wilmington, North Carolina, Port City Sports Performance, Salty Dog Jiu Jitsu. I'm not gonna lie, bro, you're getting lynched. If you win this fight, you're getting lynched. You finished. I left something while I was here. Here to get it back. I'm the Viking fighting out of Virginia Beach. The Viking versus a smaller black male? I don't think so, gang. You're not making Street it out alive. Beats. Maybe he we gonna got fuck us him, though. Who knows? Match for y'all. And the return of a Street Beast favorite. In this corner, we got Baby Hulk. Y'all may remember this man. He's out pursuing an MMA career, but mm. that's time to come back to the yard for a little bit. He's three and zero in Satan's backyard. Three and zero. And in this corner, we got how many? Whoa, that is a cr our micro. <laughs> micro. Um, how many fights would y'all need to win before you would go and enter a competition for fighting? How confident do you think you need to be? Like, would you go in zero and zero, or would you go in like, all right, I need at least like ten fights under my belt? Before I can, you know, confidently say I'm ready to make some money off this shit. Nigga said 300. You're not, you're not even fighting 300 times, bro. Stop it. Five fights. Personally, I'm going in raw. Weight champion, Viking. It's either natural talent and skill and ability or nothing. He's five. Realistically, I would, I would do like, I would probably do like six or it's like seven, seven fights. Seven is my sweet spot. Five and oh, in Satan's backyard. Say, fellas, fight hard. Go, Viking. Go, baby. Dunder Mifflin? I genuinely have... I paid for five fights. I genuinely have zero clue how tall Black Bro is. Because he looked like 5'6", and then he's next to this nigga, and he looked like 5'1". But this nigga don't look crazy tall. He looked like... He got the frame of a nigga who's like barely six foot, maybe. You ready? You know what he's gonna do. You ready? Let's fight! Please don't do this. Watch for the shoot. Nice fight long. Fight long, yeah. Oh no. What's his name? Baby Hulk, please. That's what I'm saying. Like, how small is bro for real? Dot. Hey, Sean. Do you think John Jones the best youth fighter? No, I don't. I've seen his fights though. He's not bad at all. Sprawl, sprawl, sprawl. Fight underhooks, underhooks. Yeah, relax. You good? Fight underhooks. I'm just confused at this matchup. He's gonna go for the double. Up, 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 up. All right, nice, nice, nice. Oh no. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh Jesus. Oh no. Wrap around the arm. Wrap around the arm. That's what I'm saying. You gotta be. You gotta be like these little niggas, bro. You gotta like. I saw. I don't really trust little niggas for real. And I don't mean little people. I mean like little niggas. Like niggas who aren't little people, but they're also not big or like regular size like if you fight a nigga that's fought between five two and five five and they 20 plus they got the strength of like 10 men oh my fucking up kick up kick nice 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 Regard, regard, oh, regard. Bro, chill, gang. Nice. Up kick, up kick, up kick. Up kick. Yeah, nice. Just like that. There you go, Dave. Nice. You ready for him to come in? Control. This is crazy because as soon as Ro try to get up, he gonna, he, gonna, he gonna put his shit up against the wall. Okay, there you go. Decent sportsmanship. 30 seconds. Now, if you get put on your ass again, it should be raps. That should be GG. Oh no. Nah. I didn't think it was gonna go like this. 
Oh shit, it's over. It's over. It's done. It's finished. It's finished. It's over. It's done. It's over. I knew it because the weight difference, it was too high in the beginning. Like, bro got at least 20 pounds on, bro. Four, three, two, one. Well, at least he not bleeding. I don't think. Oh, there's another round. Yeah, I stopped watching Jet Li movies after I knew I couldn't land kicks. I remember one time I threw a kick. Um, I was play fighting with somebody at school one time. I threw a kick and I got a cramp. I just knew that at that point, like kickboxing was never gonna be my thing. You know, I'm not meant to use my legs while I'm fighting niggas. You know what I'm saying? I just knew at that moment. I saw um, what's that movie called? The one where Jet Li's protecting some some white woman's daughter in the movie. I knew it at that point that this it's cool to do in the house when you by yourself, but it's never gonna. It's not practical. You know. Not rush hour. I said Jet Lee, you racist fucks. It wasn't the one, was it? It wasn't the one or Romeo Must Die. It was a different movie. It had DMX in it. Didn't No, no it didn't. It wasn't DMX. I gotta find the movie now. Hold on. He did fight a big black dude in the movie though. Uh fight movie. What what movie was it? Here it was. Kiss of the Dragon. That's what it was called. Kiss of the fucking Dragon. I loved this movie when I was a kid too. I loved this movie so much. Cause he was fucking niggas up for real. I miss Jet Lee, man. I miss him. <laughs> Bro, you're not making it home, bro. Good fight, gentlemen. That was not a good fight. He got fucking demolished, bro. His chest is still red. Bullying white people again. Look, bro, it is what it is. Much respect, winner and new old microwave champion. Me? Good, good fight. You know where it's going. Good. Nobody, you see, you, you hear how, like, nobody really clapped for, bro? I will leave the state after this. Fight, guys. Good fight. Good fight. Good fight. Agree? Any coward can pull a trigger. Oh, God, bro. We about to get some of those raps. Please don't.